Okay, next we're going to check out stretch markers in Reaper. Now, stretch markers will allow us to stretch our media items or our audio either longer or shorter to adjust the timing or even the pitch. This can be used for many different things, from matching our performances to the grid or matching our performances to other tracks. So they line up better, say a background vocal to match the lead vocal for timing reasons. And it could also be used for fixing small sections or even very large ones, section by section. So let's see how to do it. We have a guitar track here, and in the first section, it's a bit out of time. Let's hear it. Notice how it's rushing? It's a bit early compared to the drums. Let's hear it again. So let's fix it with stretch markers. To create stretch markers, we'll just zoom in, click the area where we want to put one, and then right click and go down here to stretch markers, and we could choose add stretch marker at cursor. Or we could do it with the keystroke, Shift W. Just choose this, and a stretch marker is created right here. And we could grab it to stretch our audio. Now, if we just create one, watch what happens. Let's zoom out. All the audio stretches together. In most cases, we don't want that behavior. So it's a good idea to create a few, or at least three, before we start out. For example, let's say we're trying to just fix this one note. If we put a stretch marker here, and another one right here, when we adjust this one, it's not going to affect anything outside these markers. So if we zoom out, everything on this side of this marker and this side of this marker isn't being affected. So we can stretch it and it only affects the timing or the pitch of this note. So it's a good idea to create safe areas that won't be adjusted. So let's fix the timing for this whole section over here to match with our drums that are on the grid. To clear all this, just select this, right click, go to stretch markers, go to stretch markers in selected items, and just remove them. And that removes all our stretch markers in that item. Now, this is important because this function is non destructive. Anything we do to it can be undone at any point. So we're not committing to it. Now, there's another way of creating stretch markers, and it's a little bit faster using a modifier. Let's put one over here, and instead of hitting Shift W, on the PC, hold down Control and Alt, and on the Mac, hold down Command and Option, and just click, and it creates a stretch marker. And let's put another one right over here, so that everything to the right of this marker isn't going to be adjusted. I consider them safe sections. So now let's fix the timing of these transients. Let's zoom in, put one right here, and then stretch it so that the transient is right on the grid. Now, right now, we have snapping turned on, so it's going to snap to the grid. We could turn it off, and it doesn't snap, so we could place it more freely. But for this purpose, I'm going to leave snapping on. Let's do the same thing to this transient. Place one in and drag it to the nearest grid. So that each transient is now on our grid. And everything over here is not adjusted. So if we move this, this area stays safe. So let's hear this sounds. Now it's in time, but the pitch changes. Because by default, when we stretch our items, we're also stretching their pitch, which can be useful if you want that. If you want to stretch the pitch to be higher or lower, we can use this. But for this purpose, we want to preserve the pitch. 
So we'll double click the item, which opens up a media item properties, which we'll go through in a bit. But for now, we can just turn this option on. Preserve pitch when changing rate. And if that's chosen, when we adjust our stretch markers, the pitch isn't going to change. Just the timing. Now let's hear it. That sounds a lot better. Now there's another way we could do this. Instead of doing it by hand and manually placing them on the grid, let's start again. Select it, right click it, and go to stretch markers, and go to stretch markers in selected items, and remove them. Now we're starting over. So again, this first section over here is a bit too rushed. But this section over here sounds pretty good. So again, we'll create some safe areas. Hold on the modifier, add one here, add one at the beginning to create another safe area. And now let's place them at the beginning of each transient. Put one here, another one here, 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 and leave this one alone. So now we're going to select from here to here, ignoring our safe markers. This one here and this one here, they're not in the selection. Now we're going to right click, go to stretch markers, and go down here. Stretch markers in selected items within time selection. So it's just going to affect the ones in our time selection. We go over here, snap to grid, and it quantizes all those stretch markers. So now let's hear it. Again, much better. And a little quicker as it puts them on the grid for us. Now we could also adjust the length of our notes. Right now, these two notes here and these two notes are kind of short. But let's say we wanted to make them even shorter. We could do that with stretch markers. Just put one right here and drag it over to make this note sound shorter. So the same with this one. Just make it a little shorter. And now it sounds like this. It creates a more staccato effect. Let's do the same thing with these two. And now let's hear that. Creates a very different effect. Before, and after. And we can go the opposite way. We could lengthen our notes just by dragging them the other way. We put this over here. And this one over here, let's do the same with this one. Now these notes are even longer. Pretty cool. Now the sound quality of this is based on the algorithm that we choose. So if we double click again to go to our properties, right over here, we can change the algorithm for our time stretching, or our stretch markers. It's set to the default right now, which is set up in our project settings. Right over here, the default is Elastique 3 Pro. But we can change it based on our item. Right over here, we can choose any of these algorithms. And you're gonna to wanna to choose it based on what you're doing. Each song or source is gonna be different. And we could also choose over here to optimize for tonal content. But again, you have to try this out and see which way sounds best. It's going to differ based on our source. Now, when we're done and we're sure we want to commit to this, just right click it and go to glue. And that'll create a whole new audio file that commits to our time stretching. But like I said earlier, you don't have to do this. 
This all happens in real time, so you can always change it later. And if you decide you don't like it, just right click it again and remove it. So now we're back to where we started. So that's stretch markers in Reaper. Let's move on. Oh!